What is going on everybody? I am Canada Zone and I am back for a Los Angeles Clippers rebuild. As everybody knows, and as I've already done, Paul George left this past offseason for the Philadelphia 76ers, leaving this team severely underpowered. Their biggest offseason addition, I guess you could say, would be Chris Dunn, maybe? Kevin Porter Jr., Mo Bamba? If you really wanted to uh, make a stretch, it's probably Derek Jones. But Derek Jones being your uh, your biggest addition in an offseason is not something that you are willing to be excited for. Now, I've set our trading block. Kawhi is on there, but he won't be moved until probably the last year of his deal. This is going to be a couple seasons for sure. I don't think this team is ready to compete in the near future or in the distant future because I doubt they're going to be able to get their picks back as well. But that's my goal. I'm going to try and offload as many pieces as I can to either build up our own um, store of first round picks or to get our own first round picks back because this team isn't good in real life. They're not good in the sim and they definitely aren't going to be helping me much in the trade market. So I'm going to get to simulating and as I go, I'll be making some minor trades, just unloading the bench pieces to try and grab some seconds, maybe some late firsts. And then I'll be putting those together to actually land our own picks back in a future trade. So I will see you guys at the trade deadline. So trade deadline is here. I will, how do I look at the transaction report? So we have basically gone around and just ripped off as many um, minor trains as we could. The most bi largest one just happened. Herb Jones for Nick Batum, Kenny Williams, what is that, two seconds, and a Nuggets top five protected pick, and Dwight Howard, who we signed at a free agency as a roster filler. So another surprising thing, 30 and 20 at the deadline. Um, I thought we were going to tank, but that's good. That reduces the value of our pick to OKC. So um, James having a very good year, 20 and 10. Kawhi having a very good year, 24, 7 and 5. Um, Derek Jones having a very good year. Herb, I don't need him to score. I just need him to lock up on the perimeter. Zoo doing fine, 9 and 10. Um, Terrence, 11. So my goal is to trade finder. Norman Powell and this first between the Thunder and the Mavs and hopefully land us somebody who can play the three or the I'm not trading for him it, like I need a three okay so it hasn't taken me long but I'm genuinely considering opening the window back up and adding a piece named Lowry Markkinen um, wrong pick I didn't mean to press X this is the offer this is as good as it gets because his extension kicks in next season. Then he's gone. So, oh my god, dude. Now, now, if anyone's curious, we're going to try and move Lowry. What was the point? Lowry and James. We could get Dame from the Bucks. DeJounte Murray and Brandon Ingram, I feel like, is elite. Especially in the sim. Like, B.I. is a bucket and so is DeJounte. I'm bringing Brandon Ingram back to LA, but we're putting him in the other arena. We are set. This team is ready for a deep playoff push in my opinion, so I will see you guys when we make the playoffs. One more trade. Ooh, I lied. We're not getting rid of Javante Green, I promise you that. But I need to trade Ivica Zubac because he has refused to re-sign with us and it says he's heated. Jackson Davis, DeAndre Ayton's way too expensive. Rob Williams could be a guy. Terrence Mann and they'll give us Matisse. Mmm, that's pretty ugly. Wait, are they in cap hell or what? Like, what if we gave them somebody like Chris Dunn? One million more? They've got, I know, I know my Blazers. We've got some very low paid guys. Devontae Graham? Is that gonna do? Oh my god, that's huge! I think we're ready now. This is this is gonna be it. I will see you guys when we finish the regular season. All right, regular season has wrapped, and Nikola Jokic is your MVP. Devin Carter, Rookie of the Year. Whoa. Here we go. Game number one. We lose. Luka, the problem is, dude, it's Luka. Luka had an all right game. 14 assists, three turnovers, but 22 on 7 of 17. Clay for 27 isn't going to happen every night. Game number two. We take it back. That's huge. Kawhi for 33. Like I said, Clay actually was their leading scorer again, so maybe he is, that is going to happen every night. Game number three now in Dallas. 
<clears throat> we lose that one. Clay is punching me in the mouth right now, dude. Game five. That sucks. Bro, okay, Clay finally has a human game. My goodness. Game six. In. All right. Here we go. Damn, man. What happened? Luca for 38, 10, and 6. We just didn't have it. So, going into next year, I'm going to run up some trades right now and try and get us like some seconds and maybe some late firsts. And I will see you guys when we actually get to the regular season or the trade deadline. Okay, we're a few games into the season. I've been, I've sunk down probably 15 plus trades so far of just whittling my way down, landing picks. If I don't find a better deal than Walker Kessler, we are adding Walker Kessler. Or maybe we go Nick Claxton. He's averaging 15 and 14 this year. Um, we landed Lonzo because he was a minimum after not playing for the last, what, two and a half seasons? He was a minimum in free agencies. We stole him. Oh, man. The Sim God himself. I think we're going to do the Nick Claxton deal. Because, like... Um... Zubots was before Rob Williams has already said that he will refuse to re-sign so rather than thinking oh well how am I gonna get him to re-sign I decided why not just trade him and get somebody else so the lineup right now give him 28 why not so lineup right now DeJounte, Herb, B.I., Kawhi, Clax. Off the bench, Derek Jones, Nikola Topic, who we traded for from the Thunder after picking up some picks, Terrence Mann, Brandon Clark, who we took from the Rockets after he was traded there from Memphis, and Kobe Brown, who I was going to play Trey Lyles, but I figure why not just give the young kid 10 minutes a night and get him some run at the NBA level and actually play him. So we're 4-3, and three, a little rocky to start. We're going to simulate to the trade deadline, and I will see you guys there. Trade deadline is here. We are elite. I uh, haven't checked the standings. I assume. Damn, Dallas is good, dude. How did they get Draymond? Damn, Dallas is actually legit. Maybe we do need to add a little bit. But I decided, I forgot to tell you guys before we cut the last time. When Kawhi's contract is up, the video is over. I signed him to a one-year extension because that'll make him 38 by the time he's done. He's turned 35 this season. So that'll make him 38 when we're done, or when the video should be done. I would like to get that done before the end of this year or next year. The regression is going to hit at some point, and I'm trying to avoid it as long as possible. So far, team has been really good. 22, 22, and 19 from our big three. Clax has been a walking double-double basically the whole season. Malik Beasley hasn't played for us, so disregard his stats. Terrence, Nikola Topic have been really good off the bench for us. Topic's efficiency is a little down, but that's all right. It's an increased role, and he's got a lot more attention on him now. Um, Herb has been really good. I don't care if he scores. Like I said, the perimeter defense is there. Let's take a look at Team Intel real quick and take a look around who's selling. They don't have anybody, I guess, that we would need definitely don't have anyone in Atlanta okay so remember Onyeko Kongwu Mark Williams um, hmm. okay let's do Onyeko Kongwu and Mark Williams let's give it a shot here because center depth is probably the only thing we're lacking we have two really good centers but I think if we can upgrade our centers even more we'd be in a really good spot so let's try a Kung Fu first. It's pretty similar about... No, not that guy. I will give the plethora of second round picks that I have. I'll give them every second round pick under the sun. I don't care if it's an overpay on seconds. Give them all those picks. Okay. So they don't want Brandon Clark. I'm willing to give them one first. Um, this Thunder first. And then the rest of my seconds, because I want double O. If we don't get him, we transition to Mark Williams. We land on Yeko Kongwu. That is huge. He is going to be a massive upgrade at the backup center for us. 
probably going to knock Kobe Brown's minutes down a, a little bit more. But now, like, we have an elite center rotation. But that's going to be our move. I'm going to get to simulating again, and I will see you guys at the end of the regular season. We clinch the two seed. Okay, so Dallas fell off a little bit towards the end of the season there. Let's take a look at this matchup against the T-Wolves. We've got um, Conley, Edwards, McDaniels, Towns, Gobert. So their core is largely together still. Uh, we'll take a look at the player stats for you. This year, B.I. leads the way, followed right behind by Kawhi, then DeJounte, Derek Jones, Malik Beasley didn't play, Nick Claxton, T Terrence Mann, Nikola Topic, Herb Jones, Onyeko Kongwu, Kobe Brown, his minutes diminished at the end of the year, but that's all right. He had a very good season. 44 and 37 is uh, fine by me, especially for a young guy. We are ready for the Timberwolves. Game number one, we take. Game number two, also to the Clippers. Game number three, to the Clips. And game number four goes to the Timberwolves. Game five, to the Clippers. We are through in five games, and we get the Dallas Mavericks in round number two with Luka, Kyrie, Clay, Draymond, and Derek Lively. That team is deep. They are a very strong starting five unit, but we take game one and game two, followed by game three, and we sweep to get to the conference finals to face the Denver Nuggets of all teams. Nicola coming off another MVP. They've got Jimmy Butler now. How they managed to pick up Jimmy is beyond me. I'm actually going to check because I'm flabbergasted by that. How is Jimmy Butler a Denver Nugget? What is he? Five million dollars. That's such garbage, dude. Wow. Okay. We're going to trim these minutes down. Uh, 24 is uh, 22. 28 to Klax. We're going to need him. Actually, we'll do 24 to Onyeka. Just like that. And then... One, two. Uh, one, two. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Topic is a young guy. He doesn't need all that playing time in the playoffs. We'll go like this. All right. Game number one in Denver. We take it. Game two is ours. Game three, back in LA, goes to Denver. Game four, to the Clippers. And game number five, we are in the NBA Finals. DeJounte Murray goes for 28, 7, and 7 on 49, 42, 83 splits. We get the Celtics, who are still elite. They went through the Pistons, Knicks, and Hornets. They've only lost three games on their way to the Finals. We've only lost two. Los Angeles, we have home court advantage. We take it. Game number two is ours. Game three to the Clippers. And possibly the craziest upset, the Los Angeles Clippers are going to take an NBA championship in Boston in four games in dominant fashion. B.I. with 29, Kawhi with 28, and DeJounte Murray with 17. Absolutely dominant fashion over the Celtics. And we are going to escape in two seasons turning this team from a perennial disaster for the next decade into an NBA champion. DeJounte Murray puts up almost a 30-point triple-double on 56, 62, and 100 splits. That is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.